Hi, this is Glenn Doreen from PopularMechanics.com at TechFest 2007, Microsoft's uh, event where they show off their research. And today we are going to have a quick little demonstration of uh, surface computing application with uh, Andy Wilson from Microsoft Research. And this is called the Play Together system. It is an evolution of a previous system that we've written about before called Play Anywhere. And uh, it really it supports multi-users in multiple locations. And you really sort of have to see it to believe it. So I'm going to have Andy demonstrate demonstrated here for us. Tell us about this system. So Play Together uh, uh, is basically um, two um, surface computers that work together. So we're going to be standing right next to both machines, but in general uh, you want to think about, you know, this is in New York and this is in Tokyo. And so we want to play chess together. And so the way that we've done this is, is very simple. Well, we're, just, we're just sending the video of the one desktop to the other machine. Uh, one thing that we're doing is uh, aligning the, the, the remote person's video, their video of their chessboard, onto the local chessboard so that I can understand where your pieces are. So if you look at the other surface, you can also see that as I reach in to make a, make a move, right, you actually see my hands. Mm -hmm. right? So you have a, a very natural kind of uh, interaction. This is not about um, having a, an icon appear somewhere on the on the on the local machine and represent the remote user mm -hmm. or cursors or anything like that. This is um, uh, more or less unmediated. So the idea here is that we have a piece of paper here on the one machine, and then um, a piece of paper on the other machine, and then let. So now, so now you you can actually draw left-handed. This will be interesting. Yeah, well, or someone can draw. So again, it's like it's a little bit like the the chessboard only you get this you get this uh, nice co-articulation uh, people can can draw on the same um, piece of paper at the same time and you have this nice collaborative aspect of it I can see you make a stroke I, we can gesture to various parts of the drawing um, it's not particularly uh, particularly sharp image at the moment but you know as the camera technology gets better and better every every year so uh, we can imagine that that will be a That'll be a solved problem pretty soon. So this is the new, the new system. All right. Basically, what we've got here is um, a fun little game. Now I'm driving around uh, the red car, so I'm gonna go up to this pink jump here. Oops! I just almost wiped out there. And is this built <coughs> on just using standard gaming controllers? Yeah, this is using the XNA um, framework which is a cross-platform library for developing games. But you'll notice that uh, things have this quality to them, like it kind of looks like I'm going over the, um, over the, uh, actually physically over that. Hmm. So this is just a piece of construction paper. There's nothing special about that. But what is unusual is this view over here. <clears throat> so you see that I can drive around the scene and each of the objects as a true 3D representation. Right, so I can build a little jump, I can set that up, and then I can take the jump. <laughs> right, so it's like this little matchbox car kind of thing. And so, um, yeah, so changes, as you move objects around, those changes are reflected in real time. Most cameras, you, you just get a um, color uh, value at each pixel. Here, you're actually getting color and depth. And, depth. and so that's, that's really the magic. It's a, looking a little bit further out, I believe, but uh, you can imagine doing something like that for gaming. Hey, it's Glenn Doreen for PopularMechanics.com.